All right, back for another beer review, and today I am reviewing a beer from Kings County Brewers Collective, and they're out of Brooklyn, New York, and this is their Birthday Zombie Sour. So this is a sour ale that they are brewing with boysenberries and blueberries, comes in at 4% alcohol by volume, no IBUs listed, and at the time of review, even though there is no canning date on this can, uh, it's probably around a month old because the first entry on, to, on tap or the first, or it says when it was added, was uh, September 4th of 2018. So I would imagine this is right around a month old. So Kings County Brewers Collective, KCBC, we usually do not get distribution of any of their beers in the Western New York area. They have done some collaborations with local breweries like Thin Man Brewery here in Buffalo, along with Community Beer Works here in Buffalo. And I have not tried a beer from them, period. Not one of their collabs, not one of their regular beers. Like I said, they don't get distribution here outside of maybe some of their kegs will show up here and there. But when I was in Rochester, New York, uh, about a week and a half ago, I stopped at the One Stop Brew Shop, and they actually just made a bit of a trek down to downstate New York and they picked up a bunch of beers from different breweries and brought them back and they sold them and this was one of the beers and I picked up this beer to review and I picked up their one stop brew shop glass. Now the cool thing about this is that the name of this beer is Birthday Zombie because this is their second anniversary beer. They brewed it for their second anniversary. They first opened their doors in the fall of 2016. And this glass by One Stop Brew Shop says cheers to six years on the back. And that's because it is also their six year anniversary. It was, I think, mid-August. So kind of like a birthday celebration, albeit my birthday was a couple months ago. So no trifecta. Anyway, let's get this in glass. See what we got going on. Blueberries, boys and berries. Kettle sour. You guys know the drill. When it comes to fruited uh, sours, I'm on board, and I can already tell that this is going to be a great beer. Just I just cracked it. And I looked at the color. It's it's got it's got to be a great beer based on the color. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, look at that color. It's like Kool Aid, baby. So, I really like the the design, the label too, the zombie birthday label. I think it's pretty sweet as well. Anyway, yeah, that pours out this like magenta color. Yeah, it's very, very deep purplish. A um, little bit of like mahogany, ruby red tinges at the bottom of the glass. It just, it looks like they use real fruit because they did. The uh, <laughs> There was like a finger of like this light pink head that is now dissipated to absolutely nothing. But typical for a sour, in my opinion, let's get a nose. Oh, I don't think this is a goza. And I say that because uh, they just say it's a kettle sour. On the side, it just says blueberry, boysenberry sour ale. They're using Pilsner malt, flaked wheat, and uh, yeah, blueberries and boysenberries. Uh, it doesn't say anything about sea salt or salt in general. It's not a goza. It's just a base. I'd imagine with the flaked wheat and stuff, probably more of a Berliner Weiss. But yeah, the smell of it, it has like a slight salinity to it. Like a minerality there. Kind of something that's different than just the base, you know, the base um, just sour. It has almost like this, a lot of time with lacto, uh, it's used in yogurt as well, I get like this yogurt. Uh, it's almost like you took yogurt, just regular yogurt, and mix it with like actual blueberries. That's kind of the, the nose I'm getting in this one. I couldn't tell you there's blueberries, boysenberries, just a generic berry scent here. <sighs> smells like a little bit more like raspberries than anything. I know boysenberries are like this hybrid of like four or five different berries, I forget off the top of the head, but yeah, I mean, it's very heavy on the red berries. You get a little bit of that blueberry, a little bit of that lacto, a little bit of minerality slash uh, salinity there. Smells pretty good. Let's get into it. Cheers. That's really nice. Ooh, that's super dry. Wow. First thing I would say is if I was doing this blind, which I'm not, if I was, I would think this is a Goza. There is some kind of minerality slash saltiness there that I'm picking up on the finish in conjunction with that super dry finish. Right up front, though, tons of berries. I'm getting more of like a raspberry blackberry character. Definitely a little bit of that blueberry yogurt thing going on as well. This at 4% is just light body. They don't even pretend that it's going to have like this big body or anything. It's 4%. It, it's, it's a bit watery. Crisp, clean, yeah, quite clean. It finishes quite dry, uh, quite clean, 
Again, the thing I'm left with is a little bit of that like minerality, if anything. Crisp, clean, super refreshing, light bodied. There's blueberries. There's like this raspberry character, the blue, uh, the blackberry I was talking about. A little bit of that lacto kick, like a yogurt-esque um, characteristic. Super easy to drink. I think I paid like four or $4.50 a can. At 4%, it's a bit expensive. At the same time, they're using a shit ton of fruit. I mean, you can just look at the color of this beer and you can tell they're using a lot of boys and berries, a lot of blueberries. So I get the price of this. That said, my first ever beer from KCBC this is a solid. It's not blowing uh, my socks off or anything. It's not like this super amazing sour, but there's boysenberries in here. There's blueberries. You can taste it. It has a nice like lacto feel from the uh, base sour component. That minerality is kind of weird, but I like it. I like Goza's more than I do like Berliner Weisses. I do like that added saltiness minerality thing going on in most Goza's. So that's my preference. If it said goes on here, I wouldn't be surprised. I am surprised because it just says base sour. But regardless, I'm going to give Birthday Zombie from KCBC, aka Kings County Brewers Collective, I'm going to give this a solid four out of five. It's pretty damn tasty. Uh, if you see this at the One Stop Brew Shop in Rochester or you're anywhere in New York State and you can get this and you like fruited sours, try it out for yourself. Again, I'm reviewing these at the tail end, well, the beginning of fall of 2018. I would prefer to be drinking this in 90 degree weather in the middle of July or August, but I can drink fruited sours whenever. That's why I'm reviewing this and I'm still going to enjoy it. So four out of five for Birthday Sour from KCBC. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So until next time. Cheers.